Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single glove that we can get our hands on. Today we are looking at the Purism Nitrile gloves. A pair of Dewey Solid, open that up for me. So there's no funny business here. She's gonna cut out a uh, sample fresh from the box. She's gonna do uh, what's cut out called cutting a dog bone out. It looks like a dog bone. We're gonna take that sample and we're gonna put it in this fancy machine behind us. I say we, but I mean Chris, he's gonna do all the work. Uh, and we're gonna see what happens. All right, let me take a look at these. I love the box, first of all. It is a soft touch box, so you know that means it's probably awesome. Actually though, this weird thing happened. Look at this, it's kind of open on the bottom. And it's just like a defect in the box, which means something probably got cut maybe in the, the Amazon process, which happens. Um, I love that the actual name of the factory has got Purism in it. So it's the Detsau Purism Medical Technology Co. Uh, in China. You don't see that a lot. A lot of times they put random names uh, for Chinese manufacturers for the brand, and then you look at the manufacturer, it doesn't match at all. So props to them for that. I kind of want to know what Purism means. I don't think it means the same thing. I'm going to do the, oh wait. I don't think so. There you go, sir. There's the dog bone. Get that mounted. While he does that, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do the the wince test here. I can already tell that this is a thin glove. When I when I grab this, wait, what was that thing called on the end? The beaded cuff. The beaded cuff. When I grab the beaded cuff, I can already tell that it's gonna break like quickly. Ow! <laughs> the beaded cuff was substantial though, so it did hurt. I really think the amount of pain that one experiences when putting on gloves is correlated to how uh, substantial the beaded cup is. And that like exploded like a balloon, which is not a good sign. This is from the, the, the unofficial Lloyd stretch test here. Uh, that's gonna be one of the worst gloves that we've seen. Either way, we're gonna hold them to our classic test, our test of elongation. Well, it's not ours, it's ASTM's classic um, test of elongation and tensile strength. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is stretch this sample until it breaks. Uh, if you've seen this before, I'm a broken record, but we're gonna stretch it and it's gonna map on the computer here. Um, as it stretches, we wanna see it pass. It's uh, less than six months old, so it should hit 500% or better. When that break happens, you see the line drop down like this and the tensile strength is gonna be mounted or uh, uh, graphed this way. The tensile strength has to be 14, so it has to be has to pass that to meet the ASTM American standard, which they're not claiming they're a part of, uh, but I'm gonna hold them to anyways, because I'm just a nasty person. It's right in the middle. It's like right above 50%. Yeah, right there. You can see it growing. I'd be surprised if this, if this makes 400, because it just is a- It's a chemical glove. It's a chemical glove. What is a chemical glove? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, and it's right in the center. And it did make 400. I was wrong. 450. Now I want it to win. Ah, right when I said that. 484.5. Uh, 484.5%. Just missed that standard. Tensile strength of 34.26. It is a European standard that they're claiming. They're not claiming the ASTM or the American standard, but let me see, uh, we're in America, so I'm gonna hold them to that. Uh, all right, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate uh, your time and attention looking at the Purism Nitro Glove Review. Um, you know, personally, I'd probably pick another glove, uh, but if you're in the EU, uh, where they have obviously way less standards than we do here, uh, maybe go with their glove, I don't know, just kidding. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on that next test.